Kentucky State Police Post 9 is preparing for their third annual Trunk or Treat, which is scheduled to take place Monday, October 28th. Candy donations are much appreciated, and volunteers are welcome to join in handing out candy to the community. KSP Post 9 Public Information Officer Michael Coleman tells us more. We started the tradition uh, three years ago to where kids would come through. We would have some troopers out in uniform with their cruisers handing out candy. Uh, we've also had community partners that come in uh, that decorate vehicles that, that set up for us. Uh, it's just a really great environment. Um, all the kids have a, a really good time and they're all safe because they're right here in this parking lot. There's no cars running in and out so we can keep an eye on them and make sure they're not out of the road or anything like that. We do have a few spots left open uh, so if you're a local business or even a, someone that lives in the community that would like to come out uh, and hand out candy, you know, contact us at 606-433-7711. We'll try to get you on the list. Uh, if you would like to help and you can't get out here on the night of the 28th, uh, you can always stop by and donate candy here at Post. I think last year we had close to a thousand kids, so we can use all the candy we can get uh, to be able to make sure that every kid leaves here with a full bag. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare, plus most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. Officers at Post 9 are thankful for the opportunity to interact with community members during a more relaxed event. They want their trunk or treat to be safe and fun for everyone. It's just a great time for us. Uh, you know, a lot of times we run into kids in the community that's either at gas stations or on complaints or, you know, sometimes at a school program. Uh, but just be able to kind of relax and have the time to be able to talk to them as they come through the line, see all their costumes. And then, of course, you'll have a bunch of them dressed up as police officers that we'll, uh, we'll stop and take pictures with. Uh, but it's a good time just to be able to kind of communicate with them and, and talk with them without the, I guess, the hustle of the busy life of just running in and out of the gas station. It's a good time to just kind of stop and take a break and talk to them. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.